The Rolling Stones, Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, Fleetwood Mac, Queen, The Warriors, they've all played right here. This is Go Media Stadium. That's the stadium roof. And I think I can hear a helicopter full of solar panels. Let's go check it out. Martin, familiar face. I remember you from my rooftop solar video, yeah. but this is a slightly bigger job. Okay, first of all, why are you using a helicopter? Uh, we're using a helicopter because using a 20, 200 ton, ton crane um, for the stadium. The stadium has a lot of uh, businesses that, that work in and out of it, and we'd have to close the stadium down for a couple of days. Uh, a helicopter will get that work all done in about two hours, two and a half hours. Far out. Yeah. That's a bit of a difference. Okay, let's talk tech specs. How big is the total system? So the system is around about 1,700 solar panels over the two roofs, <laughs> which is about 750 kilowatts. Well, where do you start? We're standing on an empty roof right now. The helicopter's fueling up or it's warming up. They're loading it up. Uh, they're busy strapping the, the pallets for the solar panels. Uh, we have our structural engineer on the roof. He's now given us some spots on where we could put the solar panels. And um, yeah, in the next couple of minutes, a helicopter will lift up and uh, Put them down on, on the spots we were given to us. You seem awfully calm. Yeah. Is, are you not worried? This is, this is not the biggest job you've ever done, isn't it? Yeah, it's, a, it's the biggest, but uh, if you get all your ducks in a row, and like I said, get the engineers on board. We've got structural engineers, electrical engineers. Um, we've got uh, array frame certifications for all of this. Okay, what's the timeline of the project? How long is it supposed to take? If everything works out properly, we should take about three months. So <laughs> I think the, the biggest challenge is getting the gear onto the roof. Um, which is why we're here today. We're doing another helicopter lift in another month's time um, to get the rest of the gear up. But if everything's on the roof, we can get going and it's quite quick. How do you attach them? I'm guessing you don't drill holes. Yeah, we have clamps. Uh, so this is a special roof uh, that doesn't have any screw lines. So what we do is we have special clamps that clamp to the roof that will hold the solar panels up. Those clamps have, clamps had to have gone through a, uh, a, a pull test. All right, I can yeah. see the guys clear. It looks like it's ready for helicopter time. Yep. I think we'll get out of the way and let them get to work. This is Scott, why are you putting solar panels on the roof? Well, we're, we're putting solar panels on our roof so that we become the, the greenest stadium in New Zealand. Well, that means we're, we're basically going to generate up to about 60% of our energy use at our venue uh, by putting these up here. From what I've been told, about 36 tonne of um, carbon emissions will be saved by having uh, this project installed. All right, let's talk money. Who's paying for this? Well, the investment, is, like any project, you know, there is a cost up front, uh, but we expect the, our investment into this um, project will be paid off within six years, or even less if the sun keeps shining. Oh, that's interesting. My payback on my own solar panel system was eight years or shorter if the price of power in New Zealand goes up, which it will. So your, your payback time six years is probably kind of good. Okay, so where do you start? This is obviously, you don't just rock on up and say, hey, I want panels delivered and they just magically connect. Where do you even start to plan this? Uh, we have a team, a sustainability team within uh, Tataki Auckland Unlimited. So they, to be honest with you, do a lot of the work. And uh, <laughs> then they hand it over to our projects team who do most of the work. And then I get to stand up here and take all the credit. <laughs> That's fantastic, what a job. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so after six years then, what happens? Yeah, well the savings don't stop. So this project will save north of $100,000 a year to the ratepayer. If it's this good, and you know, I kind of know it is, I'm biased because I've got solar panels and they are good. Why isn't every building, why isn't every stadium putting them on their roofs? I don't know, you have to ask all the other stadiums. <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> We're just lucky we're the first. Okay, oh, one question that I know, I've already been asked this on social media, so I apologise for how bad this question is. Does that mean that you can only show concerts and play games when the sun's up? No, absolutely <laughs> not. No. A few months have passed. I'm now back on the roof with Wes, and he's looking after the install today. What's happened since I was here last? Um, so Gavin, I think last time you were here, they were still um, doing the, the heli lift yeah. and dropping all the panels down. Uh, we've since done a lot of the prep work. Uh, that's obviously your brackets and rails and mountings and that sort of thing. Um, we've started mounting the panels recently. I can see that. Show me some of the railings. I wanna, these are the famous railings I've heard about that have caused you endless nights of <laughs> lost sleep. All right, so um, Gav, these are your eco rails, which is very similar to what we've done on your house. What about challenges? It can't all be smooth sailing. Have you had any dramas? Uh, yeah, we do have a couple of challenges up on the roof. Obviously, we're quite high up, so we are getting quite a bit of uh, a wind factor. Um, and then obviously rain has, the rainy season has arrived, so we have had a couple of days where it's, it's quite heavy. So what's the next step? You've got the panels to go in and is that it? So um, obviously we're still busy with um, the panels. Um, once those are in, 
and all the stringers from, from the um, arrays have run to the inverters. The inverters will be mounted onto the columns over here, so we'll have five of them up on this roof. Once that's done, we'll obviously have to run the cables down the shaft to the main DB board uh, or the secondary DB board down on the, on the ground floor. Okay, so, easy, you can do this in your sleep. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it actually takes quite a bit of planning and work. We're back. We're on the roof. This is Martin from Endless Energy. How's the project going? You done? Yeah, we're done on the east stand and we just uh, just lavened on the west stand, yeah. Now look at this, look at all the panels behind us. How many panels are on this roof? On, on this roof, just under 700 panels. And they're going now? Yep, they're, they're running at the moment, yeah. Okay, so it's a little cloudy right now, so of course, every time I do a solar video, the clouds come out. But on a sunny day, bright sunshine, what can we get out of this? the panels on this roof and the other roof? Oh man, you have to factor in some of the shading that these beams give, but oh, I would yeah. say around about 320, 340, 340 kilowatts. 340 yeah. kilowatts. Yep. That's incredible. Okay, I mean, but I've rocked on up here and it's all done. So I just see the, I see it looking easy and, and you know, piece of cake. Yep. Was it a piece of cake? Mm. No. <laughs> no, it was tough. Engineering caught us a bit, um, but in the end, uh, we just had to add a couple of more rails and yeah, it's all good. Just to give you an idea from the engineering side with the, with the rails, we had to quadruple the amount of rails and clamps we had to get on this roof to make it sound. Uh, I think the last time you were here, there was nothing on the roof, really. Just a Just helicopter. some panels. And, you know, that was the first time. I've been ah, here a few times. You oh, yeah. know. I keep yeah. coming back like you know, seasonal flu. <laughs> uh, but can we go down and have a look at the inverters? Yep. All right. 100%. Let's go down the other end of the roof. So I know that soon after the panels were dropped, you had to wait for more uh, clamps yes. to arrive. Originally, it was 10,000 clamps on the, on, uh, over the project, yep. which went up to about 23,000 clamps. Oh, wow. So this is it. This thing here is an inverter. Okay, put simply, I know what it does, but assuming I don't, what does it do? It takes the power that the uh, panels generate, which is DC power, right. and then converts it to AC power, sends it to the building so the building can understand. I've never seen an inverter lying sort of on an angle. Why? So the reason we do that on the angle is because all the entries into the into the inverter are at the bottom. Okay. So we could there was no way to put the, the panels on the roof up straight. So we had to put them on the side to so can, we can access the bottom of the inverter. Okay. Panels this is right. simply it's angled with a roof because there are no flat walls up here to connect yes. to. So on the yes. other side, I see the inverters are actually against the okay. against the wall. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. On concrete columns. So all these trays have been put in. All the cables are going down the side of the building. Yes. Where do Correct. they go? Can we can we follow them? Yes, we'll we can. Okay. Yeah. Where yeah. does yeah. it get, get into the into the, the grid? Down. We've made our way down followed the cable trays down to this what is it this is the solar db so it's the subboard which oh. where all the cables come from the solar from the roof down to the ground okay and uh they run into obviously this board and from this board it goes further underground to the main board okay uh, right. there's, there's a cable that comes from okay it. this is a little anticlimactic i thought there's gonna be flashing lights and everything so what, yeah. what's actually behind there just buzz bars yeah, it's a bunch of cabling buzz bars and uh and the 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 rails that hold these these switches on all right okay we continue the mission yeah. I want to find out where does this ultimately go and then I want to look at some stats and see how much power we can draw out of the sun. Alright, so we're down at the other side of the stadium now. This is the west end, yep. west wing? Yeah. Okay, so what's behind us? This is a another distribution board? Yes, this is another solar DB board. Okay. Yep. So again, cables come from the roof from the inverters down into the to the board and then go down underground again. I've got to be honest, I was expecting a bit more magic. It's just yeah. panels, cables, inverters. Yes. Yep. That's it. Yeah. 100%. What would you say to other installers or customers that are thinking about taking on a big task like this? Um, the main thing is, uh, I think I've mentioned this quite a few times, is get your engineering in, in, in check before you even climb onto the roof. Make sure the structural engineering is done and uh, the electrical engineering is done before you even touch anything on this job. We're back at the stadium. This is Dean from Endless Energy. Is this one of the biggest jobs you've done? Uh, yeah, for sure. This is this is the biggest job we've done so far. Yeah. Any challenges, yeah. or was it walk in the park? Uh, no, it was it was pretty challenging. <laughs> we had a scope to cover the roof on the east and west stand, yep. and um, so we followed that brief. But when we came to do the the, the final engineering, we did a pull test, which involved. Um, testing the, the uplift of the, the actual roof structure itself. Not like using a scale or something? Yeah, using a scale and some weights and actually pulling and just seeing how um, how many newton... How, how many kilonewtons the, the clips would hold uh -huh. uh, on, upon that pull. We had to go back to the engineering drawing board um, and the team worked really hard um, and we're, we just had to put on extra rails, extra clamps. But it was a wee bit of... Um, design and build as you go. I know there were some other challenges. Uh, one, why 144? Something that had to be created, what is it? Okay, yeah, again, um, <laughs> the brief was to cover the, the, the stadium with solar. Yep. Um, and when we looked at the load profile of a stadium, it's, it's a bit unique. 
Um, they often are closed like today, uh, so there's not a lot of load going on. Oh, so you mean, so this is, I guess, not an ideal building because mm. it's a venue that has a lot going on at night when the sun's not up. Exactly, so as a result, you're going to be exporting. What we did, we approached Ecotricity and we developed, uh, in conjunction with them, a, a export tariff structure which was more favourable for a building like this. Because I know that you mentioned uh, earlier that you've got an acronym now when you're driving along and you're looking at big roofs. RILF. RILF. Yeah. <laughs> it's not what you think. So it's a roof I'd like to fill. Correct. With solar yes. panels. So yeah. <laughs> We're always on the lookout for a good RILF. Okay, let's say that someone else, another stadium owner or a landowner is watching this or someone with a big warehouse or whatever and they are thinking about putting panels on their roof. What they, where, are they, where do they go? What do they do first? I mean, look, I would recommend you just reach out to a reputable EPC. Uh, What's an EPC? Uh, sorry, Engineering Procurement and Construction Company oh, okay. in the solar industry. You do want to reach out to one with experience okay. um, on commercial installations. Well, in they, I guess that's what Endless Energy is. That's what, okay. what we do, yeah, and we specialise in. Will <laughs> you or whatever company, if they're a good one, they'll just do everything, right? I'd like to think so. They'll do the engineering, hopefully optimise the, the system for your load profile and your needs, and then obviously do the construction and project management of that project, yeah. I've seen in the news that solar panel prices have been falling a lot lately. Is it worth getting it now or worth holding off a little bit? Look, the best time to get solar was yesterday, in my opinion. Um, second best time is today. Solar's never been cheaper, so I'd say right now. Yes, covering the roof of Go Media Stadium means that concerts, games and events here for decades to come can run on clean power. It also means that this venue can now add power station to its CV, as even when no one's there it's pumping megawatts into the grid. And with solar now the cheapest form of electricity generation in history, this massive project is just the beginning. <laughs>